Yo guys, what's good? Um, so I'm back with the third video of this series thing that I'm doing. Um, we're on the small forwards today. Uh, so I'm gonna go through and give you my top ten. Um, uh, make sure to let me know what you guys think down below. Whether you guys agree with me, you think I'm fucking stupid. Um, uh, you would switch a few guys here and there, whatever. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And make sure you leave a like down below. It really helps the video out. Um, and yeah, if you haven't subbed yet, please make sure to hit the uh, subscribe button. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Not going to do that ever again, but let's get into it. At number 10, um, this guy had a very good... Um, I he had a very good season last year. Uh, I mean, he won championships, so he's got to be. Um, I don't think he's going to really regress. But I just have nine other guys having better seasons than him um but so with that being said i got at 10 i got wiggins andrew wiggins um i just think especially if clay gets back to clay form he's not going to be needed as much to on offense really he's just going to get those he, he's going to get buckets still he probably average 15 whatever i just don't think he's gonna have his all-star season here last year even though it's debatable that he was even an all-star but you know that's not what we're arguing here um so yeah that's why i got my 10 spot um number nine i got chris middleton um, I truly believe the uh, Bucks would have went to the finals if Middleton wasn't hurt. Once again, not here to argue about that. Um, but yeah, we know what Chris Middleton can give us. Um, so he's at my nine. The other eight after him though might be surprised. You got this is where you guys might disagree a lot. I don't know. And I, when it gets down, you guys really might not fuck with me. But uh, at eight, I got Scotty Barnes. Um, I just think that. He, I don't want to say he's getting the keys to Toronto because that's not really the the phrase I want to use, but he he's getting his shots up. He's going to be the one of the main focuses in Toronto for next year and for obviously a long time after that. Um, and I just really like what he did to senior uh, senior year, um, freshman rookie year. Uh, so yeah, I hope he I hope he has a better year to be honest because. I don't hate Toronto, but and I love Scotty as a player, especially coming up. Didn't, I'm pretty sure he was a six man at his college team, then got drafted number five or four, whatever the fuck it was. But you know, I think Scotty's gonna have a really good year again. Like I said, it might be the same, maybe a little bit more efficient, and maybe points go up. But um, but yeah, so I got him at uh, number eight, seven. I got this is where it might get a little tricky for you guys. I don't really know if you're gonna fuck with me after this, but seven, I got Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Uh, I don't, I'm, I know this doesn't really have to do with him individually. I just don't see the Heat being the number one seed again. I don't really even have them finishing top five. So, but with that being said, I think Jimmy's still going to get buckets. Jimmy's still the defender he is. He's still the bucket getter he is. So, like, I, I got him at, comfortably at, um, at seven, I feel like. I feel like that's a good, especially with the guys after him. I, I don't know. At six, I got Paul George. Now, this is debatable because I'm just going off what, like, I've seen on, I think I checked on NBA.com, and I, I could be wrong, ESPN. They have Paul George and Kawhi at small forward. I get, if they're both on the floor, Kawhi's either going to play power forward or Paul George's going to play small forward. I mean, shooting guard. And may, or maybe it's going to be like a, I mean, basketball's positions list, so that's why I kind of, yeah, it's, it, it's difficult to judge. But I'm just going off of what NBA and ESPN said. Maybe ESPN. But um, number six, I got Paul George. Uh, I mean, I don't really have a reason. I mean, I do have a reason. I just think he's better than the uh, four other guys I named. But he's a, I think he's a better offensive Jimmy Butler. If that makes sense. Obviously, I'm not saying Paul George is as good on defense as Jimmy, but I just think he's a better offensive Jimmy Butler. Obviously, they don't play the same way, but I'm just saying that that's the best way to describe it. Um, five, this is where you guys might not really fuck with it. Um, I got Jason Tatum. Okay, uh, Tatum, he obviously had a great run to the finals, whatever. Um, but I don't know what it is. I feel like I got to see more from him. I don't, I don't know if it's me, like, just not watching him enough. But I just, he's obviously going to be a top 10 player in the league for a long time to come. But I don't, I, he's just missing something for me. I don't really know what it is. And yeah so i got five this is where you guys really might disagree at four i got brandon ingram i'll let you guys just I, yes i said brandon ingram um he is 
I mean, what he did with the Pelicans last year, they shouldn't even made the playoffs, to be honest with you. I get they were like the 10 or 11 seed ever, and then they made it into, or maybe they weren't, but I don't know. They made it as the A seed and gave the Phoenix Suns a run. Um, and Brandon Ingram, I just feel like people always think that when stars come together, they're not going to be as good, meaning Zion's coming back, and now he's got CJ there and stuff like that. But I just feel like that, I don't want to say it makes him better, but that just gives him more opportunity because now defense is like, if Zion's are going crazy or like that, then B.I. BI can go off and it's just like going to flip-flop like that. Now, I'm not saying he's going to have the same year. He obviously could have a better year. Who knows? But I'm just saying I, I love B.I. as a player and I just think he deserves to be in the fourth spot. I think he's going to be a top 10 player for the – for the. I don't want to say the rest of his career because I don't think he's a top 10 right now. But in his position-wise, 100%. And I just love his game. I love what he's doing with the Pelicans. And I just think he's going to progress even further this year and be that guy. Because people are people are saying that, like, don't grow up having CJ there, see, but CJ's not the guy. And people saying Zion coming back with what he did his rookie year and stuff, that he's going to go crazy and he's going to be the guy. But I think at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and if there's any success to that team, it's going to be go through Brandon Ingram. Um, the next three are kind of, you know, obvious, I guess. I feel like if, if you guys are watching this video and watching it through, you should know who the last three are. I got um number three. I got Kawhi. I I know that's a lot to say because he didn't play last year, but I'm going off of if Kawhi gives me what Kawhi, I know what Kawhi can. If he comes back the regular Kawhi, he's a top five player in the NBA. So that's what I'm going off of. Um, that's really the only reason I have for that. Uh, number two, I got KD. Once again, not really. I don't really need to explain it because we know what he's going to give us if he's healthy. And then that's a very a very interesting team. I can't wait to see them play with um the looks that KD's gonna get with uh Kyrie and um Simmons out there. But um and then number one, I got LeBron James. Uh so yeah, that's it's kind of um obvious. But LeBron is literally because he's going into his his twentieth year, I believe. But I mean, bro, if he stays healthy, there's no reason he should not be top three player in the league at all like there's just not even with him saying that he wants to give the reins and to give the team to ad and have him like go through it but like lebron is still getting fucking an easy like even, I, bro don't even get me started because you guys probably aren't even lebron you probably hate lebron whatever yada but like holy fuck he i believe when he's like 40 42 he's still gonna be averaging like an easy 27 and 7 like that's crazy as a 42 year old but that's for another video. That's for another time, whatever. But yeah, number one, I got LeBron. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, whether you think I'm fucking stupid, whether you actually didn't really think of things a certain way and I made you think a certain way, whatever. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video, please. Or dislike it. I really don't give a fuck. I appreciate the like, but if, whatever. Um, make sure you send this to a friend if you fuck with it and you think that your friend's stupid and they got like lebron at four or some shit and you just want to be like yo yep this guy yep whatever uh yeah so leave a comment down below if you guys think it was trash nice uh leave a like and let me know and be prepared in the next uh f week or so for the power forwards um that should be crazy too so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and deuces